We're back on the Get Started tab. Let's click on Projects. Here's my active project marked with a check mark. And just in case you're rusty on creating a new project, I'll recap really quickly. Click New at the bottom of the dialog window. Type a project, single user project, or vault if this is what your company or school uses. Here we specify the name and the location of the project. At this point, we can click Finish or click Next to specify the libraries you'll be using for this project. I'm going to cancel out for now. To make your project active, just double click on it. The bottom pane of this window shows the project properties. There's a note for material libraries. Let's right click on it. We can select Add Library or Restore System Default. Let's select Add Library, select my library, and click Open. To make this the active library, you can right click on it and select Active Library. Or you can just double click on it too. Let's click Done at this point and save our project. Now let's open our file. Click Open. I will select my part document now, 05, and click Open. Here's my material library. Three materials are currently in it, ABS plastic, brass, and generic. Let's launch the material browser now. Expand my library. Notice that we only have category 01 here, and as you remember, I created two categories, so where is that second category? Well, the reason it's not here is because the second category was deleted. It was empty, so it was deleted by default. And this concludes our video about creating a custom material library. In our next video, we'll talk about working with the appearance library.